everyone. Happy Wednesday. I have Rachel here with me. Hi, everyone. Go ahead, let them know how you're feeling, Rachel. They've I been asking great. about you. I feel fantastic. I had to go back to the doctor, as Becca probably told you, and I got some shots in my rear that were horribly painful, but you know what? They made me feel so much better. So I'm doing great now. Thank you all for, for checking up on me. Becca, bless her heart, has just been running this show and she does it with such grace and uh so so thankful but i'm really excited to be back today it's gonna be a good day yes uh cat says didn't see the title of this one yet this sounds like a fun one to watch on a rainy michigan day it's not raining here yet but we're supposed to be getting some rain so Are i don't we? know when? i don't, I, some, I don't Ew. it says tomorrow but i don't know if it's like starting tonight into tomorrow oh, okay. or what okay Anyway, yes, we are talking about color palettes today. I love color and I love color palettes, but a lot of questions that we get are, how did you choose your colors? How did you come up with the combinations? And I'm gonna be honest, like I think color and being able to put color together and things like that are some, is something that you either are born with or you're not. Oh, I, don't, I agree. I don't really feel like it's something you can learn. No. And also it was one of the things that I was most insecure about when I first started crafting is picking, picking colors for projects. Yeah. The ones that match, ones that look good together. If I was doing it for anyone else and they weren't there to tell me what colors they wanted, I was so fearful about picking colors they would hate. It was, yes. it was a, a really, a really big area of anxiety for me when I first started crafting. And I know there's ones, people, other people out there that feel the same way. So, sure. um, let's talk a little bit about that. If you, if you are not particularly wonderful at pairing colors, you're not alone. Uh, clearly there are other people here who are already saying that they're terrible at it. Um, I'm not bad at picking colors. It's actually quite annoying uh, how good Becca is at it. <laughs> however, I still draw inspiration from things around me and, to, and create color palettes from things around me because sometimes I get in a rut with my colors because I like a lot of colors. So I always want to include all the colors <laughs> and that can be difficult. Um, but today we're going to specifically talk about, let me go ahead and get this preheated. We're going to specifically talk about where to draw inspiration from color or just inspiration in general. I feel like as crafters, sometimes we get in a rut creatively and maybe we just don't feel inspired to create new different fun things. And so how do you, how do you stay inspired? How do you have your creative flair sparked? That sort of thing. I'm a very visual person. I would say most creative people are visual as well. And so I think it's really important to surround yourself with beauty. Um, if you're in a creative rut, I say go somewhere that inspires you, whether that's a flower garden or a flower nursery with plants and colors and textures and things everywhere or it's a hey ellie it's a museum with lots of different artifacts and things like that or a theme park a theme or park a, uh, carnivals oh yeah. my gosh like, oh yeah yeah um i also love to look at magazines Trendy magazines are helpful. Trendy. Are helpful. Yes. Maybe don't grab your 1970s <gasps> magazines that oh I God. know you ladies are still hoarding. Come I know. On. I know. Unless you're looking for a vintage vibe, which in case, grab those 1970s <laughs> magazines you're hoarding. But I recently subscribed to the Magnolia um, magazine, and I'm for it, let me tell you. Um, Joanna Gaines has incredible style. She puts colors together really well. Traditionally, she's a little more farmhouse than I prefer um, and likes more neutral tones and things like that. She, Anna's style is very much like Joanna's. Rachel's is the same, but here lately she's been putting a lot of color in. So I don't know if color is going to be resurfacing in the design world as far as home interior it it is still in my home and if it's not trendy i don't care i love it i'm inspired by it and anyway, i love that becca's that way too she's like i could care less what's trendy i this tried is, this is me and i love it i tried to do the neutral palette sorry yes. i've got an eyelash that's driving me crazy i tried to do the neutral palette when we moved into our current house which was in november of 2019 i got 
all neutral everything was going to sort of do the farmhouse vibe with a little bit of a flare kick did the whole thing and it was pretty but it just never felt great yeah so i made my 20 was it 2020 or 2021 i think it was 2021 resolution to be to add color back into my life and you know i have, it started with your bedroom doors did it not well my first thing was that oh thing on my wall that says oh okay, so i painted okay, okay. that and then i did my bedroom doors and redid my whole bedroom so and added color cute. in my living room and yes i'm slowly doing it um for me design in my house i like to do things gradually i feel like if i try to rush it and get it all done at one time then it looks too matchy matchy and matchy matchy is not my style um also, I'm at a point in my life where I don't want things on my wall or in my house if it doesn't mean something to me personally or speak to me in a personal way. If it's cute, then I'm probably just like, I'm just because it's cute doesn't mean it needs to go in your house. Yeah. See what I mean? True. Like, I don't have wall pieces on in my house that are like, oh, that's cute. For me, I, I want it to be a saying that I love that really speaks to me or... Or something that I love. I mean, if rainbows are something that means something to you or or something special, grab something that's rainbow, you know? Yeah. Uh, whatever. Uh, that was just a, a for instance. No. What, one thing I have to say is that one thing I love that Becca does is her kids. Well, first of all, she's drug her kids to, to like a, a pottery studio here in town to color pottery, yeah. which, by the way, is just adorable. Because, of course, when you're teeny tiny, you're just kind of uh, splatting the color of where and it ends up beautiful. But she has... Her kiddos paint humongous canvases with gorgeous colors, and that's what she hangs on her wall. And it looks like an abstract piece of art that's stunning. And it's, it was her kiddos. Things like yeah. that, I think, is so, so neat to do that a lot of us probably wouldn't think of. But there's another idea. <coughs> well, and then it's custom, and it's not something that yeah. I hate, personally hate going to Hobby Lobby to buy home decor because it all looks the same to me now. True. It all looks the same, and everybody has it. And well, again, that's not to say it's not no cute or trendy. Exactly. Yeah, no absolutely. judgment if you have it in your house and that's what you like, but I don't like things. Once it becomes super trendy, I'm like, mm, I'm going to move on. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. And that's not, it's not an attitude. It's just I'm always wanting to do something different, to improve things, to think outside the box. And then once I become inside the box, I'm like, okay, so now what can I do? To, to do something different. What innovative thing can um, we move towards? So that's just how I think. But anyway, that was sort of a whole rabbit trail of It was thoughts. a good one, though. It's a whole rabbit trail. Yeah. I love it. This fun magazine, we'll go to the overhead in a second, yeah. um, has some really great colors in it. Like the, the front magazine cover. Look at this. Look yeah. at all these gorgeous colors. Pull it up about six inches. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that we moved our. I know. We I me. know. Um, all of these beautiful colors. Look how cute Joe looks in this. She's the cutest. I anyways. mean, she's adorable. I it's, love her. It's it's nauseating. It is. Yeah. It is. She has the skates I want. We've talked about this. Um. <laughs> anyway, just look through these magazines. Look at all of these. Let me find. And just look at this color combination. I love it. Oh, I love it. It is just beautiful. But I I love. I don't know. I just love how she puts colors together. I assume she did this. She's the editor. I assume she has a lot to do with a lot of this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The summertime. Right. Grouping. It's just, I mean, so stinking cute. So you don't have, you don't have to do every color in a color combination either. So for right. instance, if I, if I liked this color palette, I don't have to use every color from this color palette in something that I'm doing. Whatever speaks to you. Mm -hmm. Um, look at, this confetti oh my gosh this whole page it just looks the black and white i also love the black and white pop in the middle of all of this color i yes. think it just looks really cool yes. um and you guys can also if you want if you want to be that way you can go to this to like the supermarket or walmart peruse these and not purchase them if you if you're like worried about that aspect that way, of it you yeah. know but um if you have a magazine you really like to i would subscribe to it to get like monthly inspiration that you yeah. might not be thinking about yeah this is an article about french fries now that is enough for celebration but then look at the colors <laughs> they throw on this the great fry debate look this at the colors perfect. i love two it. colors of green which i'm a fan of i'll pull up our color comment or our, our color palette for oak and lamb in a little bit we have two greens and ours um but i i don't know 
It's very interesting. Even these that aren't necessarily color palettes, this is just beautiful to me. Like absolutely beautiful. The lines and architecture just, I don't know, they make me feel inspired to create and to be creative. Yes. And you could look at the picture of an entryway of a house and mm -hmm. be inspired to do yeah. something completely different. It doesn't mean that you're looking for house inspiration if you're looking at that. You can find inspiration for something in a lot of different ways. The layout of this could be inspiration for how you put some quote or something together for a cut file, like Absolutely. this beautiful script font with your, um, sans fonts here. I, it's just absolutely gorgeous. There was one more other page. I, I can find it. I wanted to show you all. It's beautiful. Though. I love it. Anyway. So what you're going to want to do to create a color palette, is to find a page. Look at these colors. Everything's, oh, come on. Oh my God. I mean, it's like a little heaven. It it's is. like a little heaven. Anyway, I can't find the other page that I wanted to. But all I do is just take a picture. So I've taken a picture of the front of this, and I've also taken a picture of this one. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm just going to send this to my, my computer really quickly. I'll airdrop it over here. And then is my computer working? Rachel? It is working. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Um, then I'm going to pull it into illustrator as soon as I get done with this. It's airdropping now. There we go into illustrator lorraine said i love that green i've never liked green but since watching you i've been incorporating green into more projects oh, green is my favorite color it's my favorite color okay so now i have this photo over in illustrator and you can do this in inkscape you can do it in affinity designer silhouette whatever you want um that has a fun little eyedropper tool these are the files that we're going to be using later and we'll talk about that in a second um, but what I do to create a color palette is just insert a square. You can do a circle if you want to. You can do a pie shape if you want to. Whatever you want to do to create um, your color palette is totally fine. You're just needing some shapes. Then what you want to do is grab your eyedropper tool, which is right here, and you're going to hover over the part of the image that you want to replicate. Now, if you're looking at this L, you can see there are two, probably more than two, but a couple of different tones, lighter and darker. So you just need to choose which tone, which you, like. Tone you like. I'm probably gonna try for the lighter one because we have a darker orangey color here. So I've got that one. And then I'm just going to duplicate this by pressing Command C, Command V or copy and paste. And I didn't even count how many colors I have. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a lot of colors. So let's do, we'll do nine. I'm going to duplicate these so that I have nine squares. Just like this. And then I'm going to select another square in my eyedropper tool. And then select another color. Is there a, this is my question. Yeah. No one asked this, just me. Is there an ideal number of colors in a color palette? No, I, I, I not in my opinion. Okay. Not in my opinion. Uh, for me, the more color, the better. Uh, and like I said, if you have, you know, nine or so colors and you don't want to use all of them, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to give you a little glimpse into my really odd world um in just a minute when it comes to designing things like our thumbnails and things like that for oak and lamb but let's grab the rest of these colors really quickly and chrissy's here hi chrissy hi chrissy she says i do this in procreate but never thought to do it in illustrator much better yes the reason that i like to do it in illustrator is because i can create an svg and then I can easily pull it into design space and show you what I'm about to show you. Okay, so these color, look at this color palette. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. I love it. Uh, one thing that I do like to try to do is find a good neutral to go with the color palette. Um, so even if I had this photo and it didn't have a neutral, maybe find one. If your colors tend to be sort of warm, uh, then grab a warm 
uh, neutral. If they are cool, then grab a cool. I actually have both here because this background color looks really cool with this. Okay, ended up with 10 colors. Now I all love I need this. Right? Now all I need to do is delete that. So I have all of these right here. And then I'm going to export this as, and then we'll call it uh, Magnolia. Uh, what was this page? Flourish. Yeah. Save it as an SVG. And then I'm going to open up Design Space. <clears throat> A uh, cat. She says, I've never done this before. Thank you, Becca, for opening up my world on a daily basis. You're welcome. So I'm going to grab that SVG I just created and pull it into Design Space. And the, you don't have to do this, but the reason that I'm doing it is so that I can easily, in Design Space, change the layers of my images. Now, these colors are not correct. Do you see the difference? They're more muted here. I think it's because my GPU unit. Yes. So this is yes. this is an hour problem. Your yes, yours will probably pull in correctly. This is just application wise. Um, let me grab our cute little file that we're using today. If I can find it. Once you have your files in, it is super, super easy to then change the colors to match your new color palette. This is why I love creating SVGs. So all you would need to do is select whatever layer you want. Say for instance, I wanna change this to the blue color that's in my color palette. Um, why is it not selecting the blue? Hold on, here it is then I can either come up to the top and all of the colors that are in layers are here, I or love that. I can come over to color sync and color sync these to the blue layers just by dragging and selecting or dragging and dropping just like this. So I can recolor this entire image to meet my new color palette. Can this be done in Inkscape, Becca? It can. You can create an SVG color palette in Inkscape. Stacy said, what a great idea. I never thought to do this. You're blowing some minds today, Becca. I love blowing it. Blowing some minds. Love it. Um, so, <laughs> I don't even wanna show you. I don't wanna show you. Anyway, so <laughs> you would just create this um, and then print it out, sublimate however you want. I have some already printed out that we're going to be using. Um, but the reason that I like this is because I have the same image and I've just colored it with the exact same color palette, but in different areas. So no one chicken is the same, but they all go together because they're all from the same color palette. I, I love, love it. it. I love yeah. it. So let me- Your cat's hero, which I think you probably knew that, but you know, no. it's always good to hear cat that you can reiterate that for Becca. It is. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me close this out. Don't look at my desktop, it's embarrassing. So embarrassing. No, Becca. It's, it looks like a creative mind. <laughs> Does it? Does it? Okay. <laughs> Here is one of the files that I use to create graphics for Oak and Lamb. Wait till you see this. Oh, it's so bad. Wait till you look at it. Look at all these. <laughs> I use these so frequently that I just keep them here. I also have one titled Embellishments. Oh, this one, this one is the one that just speaks to me. That had, I mean. Look how cute. And so all of these are vectors. Every one of these graphics or images is a vector so that I can easily change the color. I also have a background one. And then here in Illustrator, I can just sort of copy and paste into a new, for instance, if I were doing a thumbnail, I would create a new artboard and the thumbnail would be, it would be in pixels. So it'd be 1280 by 720. And then I would pull in a background by copying, pasting, and then sizing this to 1280 by 720. Then I would center it on my artboard. Oop, down here. And then I would likely pull in an image that has me or Rachel in it, or one of our little cartoons. If it were about, let's say, um, a cricket and we're doing heat transfer vinyl, then maybe I'll come in and pull my cricket image and rolls of vinyl and a, uh, I think I have a clamshell press. 
somewhere and a clamshell press. And then I would pull them over here. Where's my vinyl? Onto my image. Size them, place them. But why I even brought this up was, say for instance, I want to put this here and I don't like the pink on top of my orange or something like that. I have my color palette also saved right here. This, these are the hex codes and everything for the oak and lamb. And I pull it in here and then I can easily just change the color of this machine to one of the other oak and lamb colors just by using that color palette. So I use color palettes in a lot of different ways. Um, this is, Kat said it best too, Kat. She said, you have no idea how much I'd love to be in Becca's brain for just one day. No, you don't. It's so, <laughs> I think, honestly, I think I have it all ADHD. Stop I'm not, it. It's so hard for me. I, I will think one thought that makes me think of something else that makes me think of something else. And then I'll start an action based off one of those thoughts, which will make me do something in it. And I never really get everything done um, for a long time. <laughs> Because it makes so many, it's it's a little bit exhausting, if I'm being 100% honest. I let myself down a lot. I do. Anyway, um, that's how I use color palettes. So I've already printed off this fun sheet here of our little chickens. 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 I did it with the sublimation printer, and I did mirror these images, although it doesn't really matter because they're chickens. They're chickens. And there's no words. of a chicken, yeah. yeah. So let's just hand cut this here. We're never going to get used to it, Becca, but you got to come up like eight whole inches. No, I think maybe I'll just need to move the table. Move the table, yeah. 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 Got the overhead camera fixed, which we were used to it being. In fact, let me just. Pretty wonky. Let me just do that. Because it does feel weird. I'm sure it does, yeah. Okay. How, how does it look from the front? Is it still yeah, okay? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. I am using, we haven't used them yet. Why am I red? Don't be red. Does red mean it's heat? It was heated up. Okay, it's still heated up. I guess it's reheating maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I'm preheating my... Um, mug press but we're using these today these are the stackable cricket mugs which i think are really cute and they're linked below and they would make a really cute set so i'm gonna make a set and they'll all go together because i'm using a color palette let's open all of these here we'll do these one at a time now will be a great time to answer questions or just chat because each of these mugs will probably take about five minutes. So we're going to have some downtime here. I'm going to just place this on here. I made these two inches tall uh, because the mug was, I want to say three. Yeah, right at three from here to here. And I didn't want to fill up the whole entire thing. So making it two inches tall made it almost two inches wide, which I think is going to look really cute on this. At yeah. least sort of... Uh, more minimalistic than I normally do. So I'm uh, proud of myself for thinking outside the box there. Okay, so I'm just going to tape this on. For those of you who missed it, we've started using this blue tape because so many of you had issues with the yellow tape leaving color on your sublimated images. <laughs> we didn't want craft fills. Um, also, we like how wide this is. I'm gonna tape this down all over. And then I'll go ahead and place this one in the mug press, close it up, and start taping my other one. So, are there any questions, comments, concerns? Yes, how many ounces do the mugs hold? Oh, that's a good question, hold on, I don't know. Um. 10. These are 10 ounce mugs. I love the good stackable yeah. mugs. I know, they're very cute. Also, it's a great time to mention that we are having a little sale on a membership for $10 off if you'd like to join monthly. We're going to give you 10 bucks off using the code FUN at checkout. It's a really good way to kind of try out our membership if you're on the fence. If you have any questions, we would also adore to answer any questions you have about 
Oak and Lamb or Becca or me or yes. anything. Yeah, so if you use that code FUN, F-U-N, it makes your first month $10 or $9.99 rather. Yeah. We like to say that we spent more than that this morning on our breakfast. I don't know. Rachel, what did you have for breakfast? I actually... Did the, you have breakfast casserole? I, I had a uh, breakfast burrito from Chick-fil-A this morning and a frosted oh. coffee. Oh, it was well, delicious. Frosted coffees are good. Oh, they're delicious. Yes. They're a problem for my mother. Yeah? She gets them quite often. <laughs> yeah. I love that. She loves them. They're very good. No butcher paper, Tracy wants to know. I don't use butcher paper. I don't. I never do. You can. But I've never had an issue where I needed to use it. Get off the fence. A membership is amazing is what Phaedra said. I, I know you put that inflection in your voice, Phaedra, so I was doing it for you. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Becca. Yes. <laughs> I was only thinking of her. Um... A smoothie for breakfast for me is what Stacy said. What did I have? I had a bagel. I had a bagel for breakfast. I love, love a good smoothie. Me too. And I went to McDonald's last night because Beckett wanted to go after his baseball game. I yeah. hate McDonald's, by the way. And I was like, I'll just get a smoothie because their smoothies are good. Their smoothie machine was down. <gasps> I knew it. I could have. She said, I can make you like a strawberry milkshake. I was like, oh, that's okay. I'm good. Let me see here. These are quick to put together. They just take forever in the mag press. However, it probably won't in your house. It is 67 degrees here in the studio, so it makes heating the mug press or the mug up a little um, harder. We had a friend asking about the tape we're using. I am going to link it for you. Thank yes, you so from much for asking. Amazon. Yes. I don't know why I didn't think to link it. My bad, guys. It's good. I haven't had any issues with any color transfer where it's not supposed to, so, good. or at all. Um, so, that's good. I'm going to link it right now for you, friend. She, she's the sweetest. She said she wanted, it's Carol. She wanted to support us, and she can't find the link. Carol, you're the best. Thank I'll give you, you the link Carol. Right now to that tape. Um, so that's where she got that. One hard-boiled egg, an apple, and my coffee. That's that's a pretty good balanced breakfast right there. I love hard-boiled eggs. I love. I, I'll eat an egg and a potato, anyway, anyway. Mm. Yeah, of course their smoothie machine was down. Phaedra, our, that McDonald's. Ah. Uh, uh, we have two McDonald's. Is it just two in town now? No, we have three. Yeah. Well, four, kind of. Anyway, kind of, I, the kind one that's literally two miles from my house is the worst ever. Is it one of them all? Yes. It is the worst. Rachel. It's the worst it's, McDonald's. It's the worst. The lady in front of me, which... I'll just switch it to you while they... I chat. at first thought she was a little bit of a catty B.I., and then I was like, you know what? No. No, she doesn't need yucky fries. She handed him the fries back and said, can I have some fresh ones? <gasps> Fallon did? No, the lady in front of me. Oh, the lady in front. Sorry. I was and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to be her. Life is too short to eat yucky, disgusting fries. It's true. It's true. You pay, you're paying for it. And really, what, what does it do to the employee? Not a whole lot. It's not like you're actively. It's like, I, I don't know. I got nuggets and I swear they had been sitting there. But it, it's so busy, so I don't know if they just, like, pre-make a bunch of stuff so that they can get it out quickly. Right. They had, they had to have been sitting there. They were terrible. Um, I want a good... I want a good... For it is good. so shiny. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're, you're gorgeous. I even have makeup on. I don't get it. You're gorgeous. Your local Wendy's is the worst. Our Wendy's is actually not bad. I'm not a huge fan of Wendy's, though, so I don't I love go a lot. I love Wendy's. Um, Someone said, how's Charlie? Charlie's fantastic, by the way. He... I swear I'll go to sleep, wake up, and know that he's grown. I right. Can, his I can face is getting him. rounder. Can you tell? Yeah. I can tell he's growing. He's the cutest. Uh, we went on a little trip this weekend, and uh, we took him by the pool in the shade, of course. I was safe, yeah. everyone. But he was, I can just tell he's growing so big, and of course I miss him being little bitty already. But thank you for asking. He is great. If you want fresh fries, ask for no salt. Yes, I can. I can. Yes, absolutely. Um, okay. 
Goodness gracious, that took forever. That did take a while. Okay, let me go overhead. We'll see how this Hopefully, sucker looks. Hopefully. Let me go ahead and put another one in. Oh, well, it's going to be super hot, too. This? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Burn my fingers off, but it'll be okay. How much does he weigh now? He weighs uh, around 10 pounds now. <laughs> Look, at, Look that. at those colors. Look at that color. You would never, I mean, it is so vibrant and beautiful. Flip, flip it. Compared oh. to what the sheets look like. And all the chickens are different colors, but of the same, like different patterns. Yes. It's beautiful. Yes. Oh, this is super cute. I gotta find someone. Well, maybe I'll give these to Beckett's teacher too, because she loves chickens. Linda, you're right. Becca doesn't need makeup. She doesn't need makeup. I have makeup on, Linda. She said she's pretty like that. You don't need makeup. No, I think you do. You're beautiful. Well, I'm, you know, I had all those adult acne issues. Yes. And now it's like leveling out. I started Fantastic. taking birth control because I have PCOS and I haven't taken birth control in 15 years. Um, but it's helping my skin a whole lot. Which is great. It is exciting. It's very exciting. Phaedra, did that take forever? I was interested in the conversation and forgot we were crafting. It I did take take so. forever. It took forever. I don't think this one's going to take quite as long. Um, I cannot remember the last time we went to a McDonald's. It has to be over 10 years. Carol, Carol. you are blessed. I finally, you got, <laughs> I finally got Fallon um, to not love McDonald's. But you want to know what her reasoning is? Did I tell you this? No. I don't like McDonald's because my mom says those toys are cheap and they'll just break. <gasps> oh my gosh. No. Not Becca. because the food is terrible. Becca, mama says that those toys are cheap and they'll break. I just hate <laughs> having those little toys all over my house. I generally will not even let them open them if they happen to get in there. If I remember, I just tell them don't put one in the box. I just hate them. I hate McDonald's toys. And honestly, if we're being real, what kid is like, oh my gosh, I just can't wait to get to this toy. It's really not that big. You know what deal. Fallon does, though? It drives me crazy. She has an entire room full of toys. Yes. And if she's packing a bag to go camping or go to Anna's or something, she picks all those little cruddy toys that are either broken <laughs> or don't have all of the pieces to put in the bag. To and I'm take like, to Anna's. How, what do you want to do with this? You That's can't hilarious. play with this. <laughs> That's hilarious. But it's all small, so it fits in her bag. Right. Yeah. So it's like quantity over, over quality. Yes. I see. Yes. Yeah. She's a hoot. <laughs> so She's funny. Hoot. The one thing I don't like about the mug press, it takes so long. I have an eight in one, and the mug seems to take a lot less time. Stacy, that's interesting. Yeah. Watching you on my TV today while I cook veggies. Oh, yum. Um... Uh, the toys used to be cool years ago. They, they did. They did used they to did. be cool years ago. Back when I was cool like stuff. five or six, yeah. they did. And it was around Christmas time. They had cabbage patch. And they were like solid. Like you could run over them with a car yes. and they wouldn't break. Yes. Cabbage patch with the hair. And they had so many different ones. And they the had smell. I could smell it right now. Yes. Cabbage patch. They had yeah. one that was like, had a purple dress with with blonde hair and one that has brown skin and had a red dress like Love so it. many different ones and we got all of them and mom ended up using them from ornaments on oh, the christmas cute. like they were good toys cute. Yeah. i always remember the beanie babies yes i was the beanie a tie babies. beanie baby gal yes. i loved the beanie babies <sighs> uh, also when i was a kid you got the cookies in the, the cookies. happy meal you don't you don't well, know I, about I, this i don't remember the cookies they were like these shortbread cookies, oh. and they came with your Happy Meal. That was back when, like, the Hamburglar and oh, what's Lord. the purple thing? The purple one? Who's the purple one? Oh, no. Anyway, all of, they, all of those characters were more in. Douglas? No, that's not it. <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> Grimace. 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 Boy. Yes. I was kind of close. Anyway, those cookies were good. I loved those cookies. Douglas. <laughs> Grimace. Yeah, I could have waited on you guys instead of feeling like an idiot. Yeah, it was Grimace. Oh, that's so funny. I love it. 
The boxes were shaped like a house. They still are. Yeah. They they went away from it for a while, and With then bags, now yeah. now it's the boxes Back again. To the yeah. Paper boxes. Yeah. So cute. My mom used to get the cups too. Yes, we had the cups. Oh, we had. Uh, is how do you say that word? I'm gonna say it wrong. It's the plastic plates. It starts with an M. Uh, my uh, mom will know. Mom, what am I talking about? <laughs> anyway, we had these plates, and I think we had three or four sets of them, and there were different scenes from um, like McDonald's, and it had all the different characters oh, on yes. it. Oh yes, and we each had and... yes, we each because there were four of us. We each had one specific one that we used from each set. And so when we set the table, we knew whose plate was going where. No, yes, thank you. Yes. That's it. Um, that one still took a while. This does take a long time. If I were going to do a lot, I think I would just, like, at a time, all the time, I would probably just grab, like, a convection oven or something and throw them in a convection oven that I wasn't using for food. Agreed. Agreed. Let's if I were making them for a business debbie wants to know becca have we got our x tool yet it came in today it came it's in still today. in the box it's currently on anna's desk yeah. yeah yes so we've got some work to do there look oh at that chicken look look how cute these are together oh, I, love this. I love this oh this is this is cute it is i mean i made the mock-up but it's just not the same this in the set thumbnail. is gonna be yes. adorable very cute and they stay my goodness i can't wait okay i miss the original mcdonald's fried apple pies omg they were delightful yeah they were um belby said what i miss and <laughs> kat said talking about food <laughs> naturally <laughs> naturally miss linda what's that for linda you're so sweet thank you that is so sweet yes well, who can't wait to see the X tool video? Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually have not watched any videos on it or education, so I've got to be doing some research um, so that I can give you all a fair review of the tool. What is it, Becca, the X tool, if someone doesn't know? It's a laser cutter, and it is, we were trying to find, because we have the Glowforge, and we love our Glowforge, but we understand that it is not a feasible price for a most people to buy as a hobbyist um it's seven thousand dollars now and we wanted to find a good alternative for hobbyists and the x1 tool i think last time i looked was on sale on amazon for under eight hundred dollars so if it works out really well um i think it'll be a great alternative Linda says because she loves us. She just gave us 20 bucks Linda, because she loves you're us. you're the sweetest. That is super sweet. Um, we, well, there's also another one. I'm terrible with names today. The brand. Hold on. Uh, I've been emailing the Ohm Tech. I don't know why I can't remember that. Ohm Tech. There's an Ohm Tech that is more like Glowforge. It's in a box and it has a lid, which I personally prefer just because I have kids and dogs. And um, and it's around $2,000. I'm trying to get them to send me one so I can review it. If they don't send it to me, it'll be a while before we do it because I'm not just going to drop two grand on one when we already have two other layers, lasers. Right. But... Once we grow and have a little bit more funds to do things like that, if they won't send us one, then we'll purchase one. Yes. Um, Phaedra said, we need to do an O&L fundraiser to get Anna out of, the, out of the salon into the studio with you two. We That's do. That's the goal, Phaedra. We do. Hey, listen, we're trying. $10 off for the monthly membership. If enough of you get it, that can happen. That can happen. Yeah, the X tool is less can. expensive than the auto press. It is. Oh, it yeah. Is. Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yes. However, I was talking to Becca today. Becca really loves the auto press. I'm excited to play around with it. I told Rachel that I was a little bit ashamed to admit how much I loved it. Hey, that's okay. No, it, it was Becca. It was expensive. I'm I'm so glad you love it. But I'm not really. We're not going to use it that often. No, but that's okay. That's okay. At least we spent the money and we like it. That's true. It's not That's just true. a waste it of It could be brand. like, oh, it's terrible, and I had to buy it to yeah. do a review on it. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. love it. It's good. Um, X-Tool has an M1 version, too. Yes. What did we get? I don't. It's in the box. I don't know. Hold on. 
We got, I'm looking at the emails. I could have read it four minutes ago and I would still have to read the email because I'm terrible unless that's, I've written it down. Okay. Uh, was that an hour? Yeah. Oh, we also got the rotatey thingy. There's an actual term for it. I love that yeah. uh, name. They sent us the D1 okay. and the RA2 Pro, which will let us, um, the D1 is an open laser, obviously. And then the RA2 is a spinner thing. Basically, you can put like baseball bats and tumblers and things on it and it spins. While it does it. And light, it, it like, Lightburn is one of the programs that people will use right. with X1 and it syncs with that. And I don't know. I'm, LSW said, my autopress arrived today and I can't wait to unbox it. Glad to hear you're loving it. Well, speaking of, we actually have another video tomorrow about comparing the autopress versus another clamshell heat press. So that's going to be a really fun video. I haven't gotten to play with the autopress much yet. I'll probably do that live because Becca's done like every live for two weeks. So I'll probably be on here tomorrow, but I'm glad that Becca's expertise are going to be here too, to be able to uh, help and give insight and see what you all think about it. For sure. And then one day this week, we also have an unboxing video. So literally yeah. me completely opening it, setting it up and all of that fun stuff. So if you need help with that, that's coming out this week too. These are looking just precious. Look at these. And they're all different. I can't. <laughs> Honestly, I was a little bit worried that I would get the placement off so badly and then it would drive me crazy. But I think they're really, I think they, I don't want to say they're perfect, but, but they're probably, they're pretty perfect. close. They're probably perfect. Um, so we'll see on that, that fourth one. I've probably just ruined and jinxed myself. Stop. Beth said, I just bought the Cricut mini easy press because Rachel convinced me. Beth, I'm glad everybody I can convince to buy that little mini easy press. That's a win for me. I love the mini easy press. I can't yes. wait to etch glass. I always screw up my vinyl stencils when I do chemical etch. See, Rachel is like a pro at etching glass, which is why I let her do it. I'm the same way, Debbie. Somehow I always get a little bit under the stencil and it j and since I'm like such a perfectionist, that little bitty dot just drives me crazy. So I'm excited to let a machine do it as well. <laughs> I'm definitely not a... Uh, a pro at a lot of other things like the uh the hat press you remember that becca yes that i i got worked up Our on hat that press, hat press Rachel, we're never going to use that hat oh, press again no, it is not. never going to be used i may as well cut the thing. cord off of it and put it up here for decor cut the cord. <laughs> we are never going to use that no, thing no 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 um raffle the mugs i should we could that was, what did we raffle? Oh, we raffled those. Um, <laughs> measuring tapes. Measuring tapes. Yes. Yes. That we signed. We felt like celebrities. All y'all wanted them signed. Yeah, well, and I, I don't know. I may have already told on Rachel, but Rachel got here early one day where I was Stop. running late. And signed everyone that she had to sign before one of us got here so that she didn't feel nervous about signing in front of me. <laughs> I hate when people are looking at me writing anything. Judging my homeschool handwriting. Um, I use the mini press for so many things more than just Cricut. It's amazing. Yes, I do too. Yeah. In fact, I made these stoles for Fallon and James, my nephew, who are graduating kindergarten this week. And so I'm going to go take their graduation pictures this afternoon. And I use the mini press to put <clears throat> their school logo and the year on here. But I said to Rachel that their caps and gowns were still in the bags, and I suspect they'll be super wrinkly. So all that to say, I may be ironing their cat or their gowns with a mini press yeah. when I get home. Yeah, there we'll you go. We'll see. Just really getting your money's worth out of that little fella. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Beth said it's the hat press of shame. It is the hat press it's of shame. It's so bad. It got me I, riled up. I don't even want to look at that thing. You know what? The only thing that I like about the hat press is the mold. The form. It's the only it thing. It looks like a freaking get, bowling ball. It does. But, I mean, and how often am I actually making hats, too? Exactly. If I were making hats all the time, this form is really nice. I, Agreed. The press is a waste. We have a friend here, a brand new friend. 
Hello, my dear. She says, hello, I'm new here. I have the easy press and my HTV doesn't last long on the shirts that I make. I follow the directions and use Cricut HTV for reference. Any tips would be greatly appreciated. Tip number one, throw away your Cricut heat transfer vinyl. We're very honest here, my dear, as you will I'm not like. being ugly. No. I'm, not, I'm not trying to make you feel bad we either. We don't It just does make a difference. It yeah. does make a difference. Yeah. Um, not saying that you don't already know this. You said you follow the directions. Make yeah. sure your shirt is mostly cotton. Make sure when you wash it, you wash, wash it. it inside out. Pre-wash it. Yes, Becca, the more cotton, the more it will shrink. So make sure you do pre-wash that. Wash it inside out. Lots of cycle. pressure. Lots of pressure when you're heating it down. Uh, honestly, you cannot give too much pressure with your iron when you're making t-shirts. But um, I do want to encourage you, try Go to 143vinyl.com and purchase some uh, HTV. HTV. Yes. The Easy Weed, Caesar Easy Weed. Yes. Try it's it um, and just, and let me know what you think about the difference. Yeah. It weeds, it cuts better, it weeds better, it transfers better, it feels better. Great. Now, Mr. Um, Shanty, I'll also let you know, I've made, we've all made a ton of HTV shirts. It yes. doesn't last long anyways. It's true. Oh, we, we don't want to give you some kind of false sense of security. HTV does not last very long. Especially when you're stretching a shirt, because yes. even if you get stretch or, or like sports flex HTV and yeah. it stretches with it, it it's not going it, to, it's not no. the same. It'll probably look fantastic for five to seven washes and then start looking a little bit dingy after that, to be honest. In general, I'm going to, I'm just being honest. Yeah. In general, if I'm creating a shirt with printable heat transfer vinyl or regular heat transfer vinyl, I expect one wear out of it. Not because, not because it won't last longer than that. It just starts to not look great. I yeah. don't personally love to wear a shirt with my heat transfer vinyl because I don't like the of, feel. Yes. I don't yeah. like even even the thinner ones, I, I just don't like the feel. Yes. So if I'm if I'm making a shirt for my kids to wear for one specific day, like the hundredth day of school, or um, they're going to see Peppa Pig or something like that, then I'll do it out of HTV because it's quick and easy, and it's better than just running to the store to buy a store bought oh, shirt. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Um, but but I, I've never yeah. been a massive fan of no. heat transfer vinyl. And thank on you a so shirt. much for being here and asking your questions. Yes. I really appreciate that. Uh, we hope that we helped a little bit and didn't scare you off Yeah, at it's all. it's not you. No, no. That's one thing we can say. It is not you, my dear. Not at all. And then Miss Carol says, any advice for sublimating on microfiber? I have never sublimated on microfiber. No, I haven't either, Miss Carol. Does, has anyone else here sublimated on microfiber? That we can help her. Give her some advice. Yes. Is microfiber polyester? Does it have a polyester... Is it like part polyester? Let me know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here's Mrs. Shanty. Hi, dear. She says, oh, wow, I thought Cricut was the best. Hi, You're not dear. the only one. We know. Okay, so here's the thing. I was the exact same way. When I bought Cricut, bought my Cricut, I thought they've made the machines. I've said this a lot. Yeah. They've made the machines. They have a monopoly on all of these different products and supplies surely they're vinyl surely they're transfer tape surely all of these they're things mats. surely their weeding tools would be the best are the best nope no and, and that's okay um some of their stuff is good and we're very yeah. open and honest about this but if you if you go to 143 vinyl their heat transfer vinyl and their regular vinyl Starcraft, so we get their starcraft yeah. vinyl uh -huh. and their caesar easy weed are far less expensive you get a whole lot more yeah. great color options and it is so much easier to deal with Agreed. i'm telling you once you use those vinyls you will never use cricket again because here's the thing cricket you buy your cricket you buy your cricket materials or a bundle and then you lose confidence because you're having some issues with your products mm -hmm. you don't have to do that it is it is cricket's fault for giving all of you amazing people their products and thinking that you should know how to use them perfectly when they're not made amazing. Yeah. So we definitely recommend other materials for you. We also have, we don't have problems with like their weeding tools and their mats and things necessarily. No. Most of the time it's just way overpriced. However, with the materials, Becca and I both and Anna, everyone here at Oak and Lamb can agree that the quality of the vinyl and heat stretch for vinyl is severely lacking on Cricut's end. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. There are certain things, like Rach said, um, 
their their weeding tool, their hook weeding tool is fine for a couple of uses, but ours ought, like always will bend. In fact, I may have one right here that's already bent. No, I don't, but I could bend it in two seconds. Um, these, and you have to, you can't buy these by themselves. You always have to buy them with something else. Yes, and these, it has a scraper tool with it always. Yes, these you can buy on Amazon by themselves. Very inexpensive. We have never, ever, ever bent one of these. We currently have, there's three here, two here. Uh, we probably have eight here in the studio. We don't have one that's bent. And, and in I, the three I, years that we've used them, have never bent one. I'm going to get corrected, so I'm going to correct myself before I get corrected. Okay. You can buy weeding tools by themselves. It's the spatula I'm thinking of. The spatula you can't buy by itself. You can buy these by themselves? You can buy the okay. weeding tool by itself. Okay. It's two, two dollars more expensive than the Amazon ones, though. Okay. Um, but we like the scoring stylus. It's great. You can also buy a non Cricut brand scoring stylus. It looks the exact same. However, we've never had any issues with the Cricut one. Um, the spatula never had any issues with it. The reverse tweezers are really nice. Um, the scissors, these are fun and go really nicely in the caddy. My favorite brayer is the Cricut brayer. Still to this day, I've never found one that I like as, as well. I break the other ones. Um, Hate the rotary cutter. Absolutely hate it. I slice my finger every time because of the oh, way that it's Lord. engineered. I hate it. I don't use it. I use the Fisker one. Um, True Control Knife is really great. Love we love that it. Cricut product. They kicked that one out of the park. I use this little scraper, I but not for burnishing. I use this for burnishing because it's a more... Um, Malleable. And bendy. softer and not as rigid edging. This I use... <laughs> I don't burnish with it at all. I use it to scrape off like excess little pieces of cardstock and vinyl backing and things like that for my mat. So it has a use, just not what it was intended for. For whatever reason, these are my favorite measuring tapes. They're Cricut. I love the size. I love the feel. I love the color. Um, I'm trying to think of other Cricut things that we do love. Their mats are fine. They're just pricier than the Nikipa ones. Um, anyway... I don't know how we got on that tangent, but I'm always... Our friend had a great question. I'm she always asking about her happy to talk about it, but look how cute this little set of mugs is. Isn't that adorable? This could go for like 50 bucks or more. I mean, especially if you put a name under them. So cute. They're, nice. They're nice and warm. They're very cute. I love them. I, I love them. This one is not perfect. Oh, wow. We're getting really super nitpicky, aren't we? It's not perfect. It's a little bit to the left, but they're very cute. I'm really happy with them. And I do like stackable mugs. One of our friends had asked, was it, was it, when, um, who asked if we had used these before? We were like, no, we'll order them. I can't remember. It was on a live. Somebody had asked. Good idea, though. Very, very good idea. Susan, I love how honest you are about what you like and don't like. Thank you, Susan. We we, we want to strive to be super honest with you guys. And not just like honest without backing it up. We we test things. We try things. We, we buy or we buy $1,000 auto presses so that we can review them and give you our honest review on them. That's what we definitely love to do. Shirley, they are 10 ounces. Be honest, Becca. Is there a measuring tape you don't love? Um, yes, there is. Ours that have the Oak and Lamb logo on them, I do not like. They're too thin. They are too thin. I don't like them. I would use them, but I don't like them. Um, remind me, do we have access to bookmarks in the cut files? Um, do you mean a bookmark cut file, or what do you mean specifically? We have a bookmark that has, if you mean that, then we have a corner bookmark. Is that what you're asking? Let us know. I yeah. want to answer that for you. Yeah, let me know. Um, that little mug is 10 ounces. Well, it's because I have big hands. Yeah, we, we all, we're all big handed here. Yeah, they're 10 ounces. They are. It's, sm it's a small mug. Yeah. Well, it's actually really interesting because if you look at our mugs that we use over there, they're all giant. <laughs> We have huge We mugs. have big mugs. <laughs> All of us. They're probably like 16 ounce mugs. At least. My baseball one, it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a problem. 
I used a tape measure I got in the hospital when I gave birth to They gave a, a tape measure away? Did you get a tape measure when no. you had Charlie? Oh, I didn't get a tape measure. OMG, working in my office, just looked up and there was a hummingbird hovering and staring at me through the window. Had I love that. I love hummingbirds. Are you going Sounds to do good. a raffle, Becca? Um, I don't know. I okay. didn't set the last one up. I don't know how difficult it would be to do that. I might be able we'll to. We'll get back to you on that. I think it's pretty easy. Okay. I just I can't do it right now. Um, big hands, warm heart. <laughs> that's us. That that's us. <laughs> Phaedra, I like big mugs, and I cannot lie, we do too. I love a mug. I like to drink soup out of a mug and things like that. You know. We have these bowls that have a handle on them. I mean, exceptional. Literally. Exceptional. They, it, it looks just like a coffee mug, but they're Huge. like yeah. this uh, with weed or chili out of them. Love it. Love yeah. It. Mm -hmm. I actually dropped one. It was so sad. You know that I like to drink my eggnog in the Christmas vacation oh, yes, with yes. the ears? Uh -huh. Yeah. Busted it, Rachel. No, no. And it didn't just break into like four pieces. It shattered all over my floor. All of them? I only had one. Oh, I thought yeah. you had like a sale. No, I only have one. You so I've got to get another one. Because I can't watch Christmas Vacation if I'm not, if I don't have eggnog in my cup. Oh, baby. It's just not the same experience. No. I did that this weekend. <gasps> That's so sad. I was getting that big, big bowl out. Yes. To eat my strawberry shortcake in. <laughs> okay, yes. Mm hmm. And then I was mad because I really wanted the strawberry shortcake, but I had to spend like 20 minutes cleaning the floor and the counters. And the, yes. It For all the glass. Yeah. That's so sad. It was. Um, I hate eggnog, Shirley said. I, I like eggnog. Um, I like the vanilla, the Southern Comfort brand of eggnog that is the vanilla spice. And then I put Southern Comfort in it, of course. But it is I have very a very good. stupid question. Okay. I don't know if I've had eggnog before. Do you drink it warm or cold? Cold. Okay. Yep. Okay. It's like a milkshake. Okay. I like mean, a, it's, it's like not a as, melted kind of milkshake. Yeah, it's not as thick as a milkshake, but yeah. Okay. It's okay. creamy and spicy. I and mean, you know, I'll try anything once, really. I don't know. And you can drink it without alcohol. You can totally have a virgin eggnog. I didn't know, and I didn't know eggnog had alcohol in it to begin Southern with. comfort. Okay. It's traditional eggnog, if I'm not mistaken. Which That's is how alcoholic. I, I didn't know that. Yes. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, I love using mugs for soup. I, I like to also eat ice cream in a mug. I don't know. I, yeah. Mugs are great. Mugs are versatile. We made four today. Four mugs. I would love for Becca and Rachel to review it. I missed that. What, what does she want us to review? The, oh crap. What was it? HTV Raunt. It's coming out with an auto press for two seventy nine, but We've I don't know anything about, about it other before, than that. Becca. Huh? We've been emailed by them before. Oh yeah, we have. Remember the name now? I do. Yeah. But they didn't have any cool machinery. They just no, had they vinyl and. And we, we don't want any. <laughs> Maybe I'll email them and tell them if they want to send us that, then I'll review their stuff. Well, uh, yeah, they reached out to us. Let me find that email. Um, yeah, I don't think that, I don't remember them saying specifically what, they, what they wanted us to review. Tammy, are you talking about the moose mug with the ear handles? Yes. yes, absolutely. I broke mine. Like I broke it. I'm not seeing it. We'll find it later. Um, we'll be live tomorrow at yep. 1030, 1030 a.m. Eastern, 1030 a.m. Eastern. Yes. Um, we're going live at 1030 and then we're going to go to lunch. Me and Anna and Rachel are going to go to lunch and have our final planning meeting for the camp with the flock. Um, our camp trip is coming up really quick. I'm really excited about it. I cannot wait to camp. I am itching to do something. So that's going to be super fun. Um, not that I'm nervous. There's, there's not going to be a lot of planning. You're nervous. I'm no, oh, I haven't camped in so long. I yeah. told mom, I said, mom, we're out of camping practice. We need to slip back into the camp life. Yeah. But I'm so excited to meet you all and to, to have a ton of fun with you. It's going to be so much fun. It is so going to be fun. fun. 
Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we're doing that tomorrow. Um, I don't think I'm going to post the schedule. Not, not that there's going to be a schedule. It's just going to be like, hey, on this day at this time, me at this. So what we're going to do, Donnie and Julie don't get to come to the camp trip. Um, they've had a, something come up, so they're not going to be able to come. But we have decided to keep their campsite, and we are going to kind of use it as a gathering spot instead of renting out a pavilion or something like that we're going to put up some canopy tents and we can bring our chairs and kind of sit around there uh, when we have our togetherness moments yes um uh, also it'll be really close to our campers which will be nice but um so there will be things like Meet here for a game time at this time, that type of thing. Not like a, and if you don't want to come, don't come. Right, well, this is your vacation just as much as it's our vacation. Yeah. You know, we just I mean, I'm going to be fun. like kayaking with my kids. Yeah, and, it's not, uh, again, it's not mm -hmm. a crafting event. No, or, but we are going to have our uh, meet and greet on Wednesday night. Um, and then we are going to have like a homemade ice cream time. Wayne's going to make us all some homemade ice cream. We'll have a little game session, um, and some other fun stuff. Yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. It's going to be a fun time, but we'll see you tomorrow at 10 30 AM Eastern. Be here. Thank you for being here with us. I've had a fantastic time with you all.